Today in the Daily Dose, the Yuan Dynasty. After centuries of repelling invasion attempts by nomadic Mongol leaders such as Genghis Khan and Monk Khan, Kublai Khan crushed Song Dynasty defenders before establishing the Yuan Dynasty in 1279 AD, becoming the first foreign leader to rule over the full expanse of China. Inexperienced at running such a vast and complex empire, Yuan Dynasty leaders gradually adopted many cultural and bureaucratic models long existed in China, although a succession of natural disasters and runaway corruption fractionalized the Yuan Dynasty court during its 89-year reign. Abandoning the Song Dynasty's long tradition of hiring civil servants based on merit rather than nepotism or cronyism, Chinese creatives and scholar officials withdrew from public life spawning a period of intense artistic advances and new forms of expression that helped to define the period, including fundamental stylistic changes to Chinese painting, as well as the widespread introduction of blue and white decorated porcelain through the use of cobalt oxide. Re-establishing long forgotten land and sea trade routes to the outside world, foreign goods and ideas flowed into the coastal cities of China spawning innovations in lacquer furniture manufacturing, while the city of Jingajian became the thriving center of porcelain manufacturing and trade. After multiple failed attacks by Kublai Khan to invade Japan and Southeast Asia, following his death in 1294, Kublai Khan was succeeded by his grandson Timur Jitu, followed by a string of short-lived rulers beset by a devastating progression of famines, plagues, and flooding along the Yellow River, resulting in hyperinflation and widespread rebellion after government officials flooded the Chinese economy with too much worthless paper money. As looting and uprisings ravaged the nation, the Red Turban Movement, under the peasant leadership of Zhu Yuanzhan, replaced the Buddhist White Lotus Movement's desire to reinstate Song Dynasty policies with his own anti-Confucian policies, eventually seizing power over the entirety of China before founding the Ming Dynasty in 1368 under the name of Emperor Hongwu, making the Yuan Dynasty a short yet impactful period in China's 3600-year history. And there you have it. The Yuan Dynasty, today in The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.